Hi guys, <clears throat> I'm your friend Sajid and I'm back with another video and today we are going to talk about um, JavaScript where to where to means like to where to put uh, JavaScript code in one HTML file uh, uh, page all right so we will see uh, what are the possibilities and the methods and ways to write javascript in a web page and how to mix it with html and how to use it so let's start so our first thing is we should know this tag this is called script tag in html javascript code is inserted between script and this tags so whenever you have to write javascript in one html page you have to use these tags and you have to write your code within these tags right for example let's look at this example here here we have uh, you see this one this tag and this tag script and uh, then this is closing tag for that script and our code is document dot get element by id demo dot in html is equal to my first javascript so here uh, as I told you before, we can access inner HTML of um, any element by its ID with the help of JavaScript, and this is the way to do that. Then document dot get element by ID demo. Demo is the ID of this p tag uh, in HTML here. So what we are doing when this code is executed and what will happen the inner html which is currently empty here will be filled or will be replaced by my first javascript and you have can see the execution on the right side so here even i can write something else my first example is running here okay if i run this code now as you can see my first example is running here so it has changed now so uh, here what you have learned in this uh, example is that whenever you have to put some javascript code you have to use these two tags in html file a script tag uh, we can say okay so now let's uh, move forward uh, one important thing in old JavaScript examples, uh, you may like is yes, you may see uh, this uh, tag like this script, and then you mention the type is equal to text slash JavaScript. But now this is actually not needed. The type attribute is not required now because JavaScript is the default uh, scripting language in the HTML. So we don't need uh, to mention this type is equal to this one. If we use only the script uh, uh, script uh, um, tag, it's enough. No need to mention type. Okay, so let's move forward. JavaScript functions and events. So a JavaScript function, you know, what is a function? Is a block of code in JavaScript that can be executed when called for. It means, as you know, there are functions in other programming languages. For example, there are certain uh, there is a uh, I mean few lines of uh, I code a few lines there and you put it in a function, and then this function can be this function will execute when it is called for. So how to call it, I mean, for example, a function can be called when an event occurs, like when we when the user clicks a button. So for example, the button, you click the button and in response to that, uh, one event will occur and in that event, you can execute some function, right? So this is the way to call a function in JavaScript. So you will learn more in upcoming chapters. Here we just wanted to tell you one possibility. Further, um, where to put this uh, JavaScript uh, tag. JavaScript 
in head or body so what we can do we can place any number of scripts in an html document and script can be placed in the body or in the head section of an html page or in both so uh, there's no restriction in it you can either write your uh, this script tag either in the header section or in the body section so there's no problem with that or even you can have uh, script tags in both of them or you can have as many as you want okay now let's look at an example here where we are putting javascript um, tag in the head section so here we have one function which is uh, which is uh, placed in the head section and then we will invoke it or we can call it how huh? let's look at this example here okay in this example uh, I think this example is important I can uh, explain it uh, further for you we can take a snapshot and okay right so in this snapshot it's easy we can write something here okay bro okay friends we you can see here we have uh, this uh, this uh, script tag okay we we can make it thinner um okay we, we will take um once yeah we, we we take this highlighter so uh, oh i'm sorry let's do it again mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry i'm sorry okay so we take this and the highlighter so we have our uh this script tag and other this is the closing tag for that and then we are defining the function see there's a function then my function is the name of the function then we have two braces and then curly braces starting and ending here and within this function we have a line of code which is document element by id dot demo dot inner html is equal to paragraph changed so this is one uh, function which we have defined inside us inside script tag and this script tag is in header section now what we do we have uh, one CP tag here uh, in which we have this code a paragraph right uh, I mean this text in inside a pair uh, which is a paragraph so now we have a button here this button you know is a button and this is the event i was talking about before on click so when i click this button what should happen my function and two braces so what does it mean when i will click the button the my function should execute and what do we have inside we are accessing the element with id demo and inside it we are changing the inner html and currently we have a paragraph and after we click it will become paragraph changed so i hope you understand this concept it's quite interesting okay so here you see on right side we have the this uh, the output of our code and now as i explained when i click this button an event will hacker that even will that event in uh, will invoke one function with uh, with the name my function the which will change the text inside this p tag so let's click it oh yeah paragraph changed right so it means this code is working fine and the function ex is executed successfully so here we have our script tag uh, inside the header section and we call that function from the body where we had one button and when we click it it executes that okay so next let's move forward now we have a code in the body section and if you look at this example here um, we have the same code paragraph change in the body body and even below the button so 
it means the position of the code doesn't matter and again when we end function is same when I click this button the paragraph is changed right so this is how it works one important point placing scripts at the bottom of the body element improves the display speed because script interpretation slows down the display so this is uh, important point when you have a lot of uh, lines of code put it at the end because uh, the display of the page uh, will come first and then JavaScript will be executed because if we execute start doing start executing JavaScript first then you don't have to uh, you don't have time enough to display the other HTML first so page will slow down so that's why this is a nice recommendation uh, keep remember it use it in your practical um, programs or applications okay next let's move forward we have external javascript what does that mean before we have seen javascript inside html with the script tags and if for example and there is another way you can make external files with all your java code in there and please uh, and name them with uh, with extension .js. So give them a name and give extension.js. So what will happen? External scripts are practical when the same code is used in many different web pages. So this is one of the advantage that why you should write your code in external file because the same file can be accessed by different locations and the code can be re reused. Just for don't forget to keep uh, the extension of the file as .js okay and this external file will be accessed from your HTML page uh, and you will give her uh, its name uh, in script tag with the attribute called source src it is source and you will write myscript.js here so how it works myscript.js and you can uh, access the external file okay let's move forward okay you can place external file references in header or body as you like and scripts will uh, behave as if it was located exactly where the script tag is located so it will be executed at the same location where you are putting the script tag there and actually it will behave as if it is inside your HTML page there there's no difference in that I mean in execution but of course practically uh, you have the code in uh, one external file okay so what are the advantages of external file it's external um, JavaScript it separates HTML and code I mean it, because if you have a large page where you have a lot of lots of code things will mix up so you have can have a clean design or clean code file by keeping HTML and code separate further it makes HTML and JavaScript easier to read and maintain oh, uh, that's obvious and cache JavaScript files can speed up page loads yeah important this is a very important point now, so if you first time you load some page and JavaScript files are loaded and next time when you refresh that page and if uh, the same file has to be used you don't have to fetch it from the server again if this file which is already uh, present on your computer now uh, will be reused so of course it will increase speed of your uh, web page loading and to add several script files to one page use several script tags so if you have maybe uh, more than one javascript files to refer to in your html you can have more than one script tags and you can give them name like source uh, attribute my script one.js and all that okay how now we see how do we and give external reference there are the different ways to do that one of the way is we give a full URL to the uh, we give a full URL to the JavaScript uh, file in the source attribute other is if the file is present on the same server 
uh, you can give uh, path reference uh, in the source attribute or if the code file is present along with the HTML file you can just give its name so these are different ways to access external JavaScript code from your HTML file I hope this uh, has been informative for you you learned something new and please share 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 uh, these videos with your friends colleagues um, uh, and anyone who wants to learn uh, JavaScript we will be continuing with this this was our second chapter on this topic um, yeah second and uh, I hope uh, you will like subscribe and press the bell icon I will be back soon I was your friend Sajid with you Take care. Bye-bye.